Hey guys, as always, thank you so much for clicking on this video. With us today, we'd like to introduce you to Loki. Loki is a sweet two-year-old Havanese. Loki is a little bit in disarray. He's got a little bit of nodding here and there. Some of it's matting in the back here. It's springtime in New Jersey, so we're getting inundated with a lot of knotted and matted dogs. So basically we call this the buzz down season. We're gonna be giving Loki a really short haircut today. Uh, we're gonna try to leave his legs a little bit fuller and give them a good look but basically this this haircut that we're going to show you today is really going to be helpful for you guys rooming your dogs at home because we actually suggest that you do a shorter haircut just to uh, maintain your dogs a little bit better but before we get into it we're going to go over some of the tools that we're going to be using today on loki so we have the andis five speed xl clipper we are using a 5F blade, a 10 blade for the sanitary clip, a 30 blade to be used along with the number two wall snap-on comb or guard. We have the Andis slicker brush. We have an Andis double-sided comb and we have the EM Guibe curved seven and a half shears. We're gonna go straight with that 5F blade that we showed you. Now, I'm not going to start up here with this 5F blade. I'm just going to do a little testing first. So I'll go down the areas that I know are a lot more uh, knotted and matted than the others. So I'm just going to kind of do here. Even the 5F blade is kind of struggling to get through. You can start to see where the mats are that I'm talking about. You see all of that? It's all, it's all matting. It's not severe, but it is very knotted. Again, we're going to be giving him a pretty short cut in this video. See, this is all matting right here. You want to be really careful here, guys. Don't that skin right there. So you really want to come down and off of the skin. Don't come in this way over here. On over his knees. And notice I'm not forcing the blade through. What I'm doing is I'm kind of just tapping. And we may have to go to that 7F blade. I don't know yet. Let me see if I can get through this. Okay. So. What I like to do is I like to leave a little bit of this here, maybe a little bit of this here, so that we're not getting that real shaved look down his leg, okay? And we're gonna repeat this process on his left leg and pretty much his entire body. So now that I did that, I did like this little test. Um, I do this, it's my process, guys. I just, it makes me feel a little bit more comfortable to go about it slowly as opposed to just buzzing the dog down right away. I like to, uh, give the dog uh, the, the nicest haircut that I can and this is my process if you guys just want to go right at it you go right ahead I like to do a little test and then I'll go in and uh, you know go right to it and get it done Alrighty. just gonna skim down this front leg a little again we're not just gonna chop into that leg right away we'll leave that for last get a little brushing going because even though we're going to be doing a, a short haircut, we're still going to try to make them look as cute as possible. Give them a little bit of fuller legs. This is why it's really important too to inspect your dog before you start clipping just so that you know you know where the knotted areas are so so already you can see his haircut kind of just coming together and this is just the prep uh, so after we're done prepping him we're, we're gonna put him in the tub we're gonna give him a good bath a blow dry and it's gonna be much easier to do later so we're just gonna continue doing what we did right here all throughout his body
Again, we're just leaving a little bit here and here. And that's pretty much his left side. So we did, we did all of this. Okay, guys? So try to pattern yourselves. Try to do it in the same fashion all the time. Um, you know, I tend to approach dogs in the same way as much as I possibly can, give or take. But it depends on the dog. Loki here is a really sweet dog, so I can approach him any way I want. You may have a dog that's really, really difficult on a certain thing. For example, if they don't like their rear clipped, you might have to work up front and save the rear for last. But like I said, if you have a dog that's letting you do everything, you can pretty much um, start where you want and do what you want. And actually makes the grooming a little bit more enjoyable for the groomer too because you don't have to worry so much with a dog like loki uh you know i don't i have no worries okay so i'm taking off the loop here and i'm just going to kind of start right in back of the head here and now he's got a lot of knots in here guys so this is going to be a little challenging i'm pulling the ear forward uh it's a 5f you want to be really really careful here because you got some contouring right here. So you wanna be really, really careful and know exactly where you're cutting. And right here is where all of his nodding is. So I'm just gonna kinda of just stretch the skin forward. Come here, Lokes. It's okay, buddy. Good boy, Loki. See how I'm kinda of supporting the skin and try to get through that knot. There you go. Might take a couple of goes, but again, don't force it right away. Just do those little taps that I always do. You see the little taps I do? As opposed to just trying to force the blade through, you don't want to do that. You want to just do those little taps. Good boy, Loke. Going down his neck here. Guys, again, a very sensitive area. What I'm doing here is, rather than going like this, I'm kind of tilting the blade so that it's not on, in full contact, like this. Do a little tilt like that, it'll be a little safer. Um, Want to be very careful to, if you're using a 7F blade here, uh, I recommend you don't. And a lot of it is just my left hand, it's all support. Notice what I'm doing with my left hand here. I'm holding his muzzle, I have his ear out of the way, just for that brief moment, just to hold him steady, and you're letting him go. Positioning your dog is where it's at. And I'm, I'm doing a little skimming with this five blade. I'm not, I'm not buzzing the whole leg down, I'm just kind of skimming. Again, we're just going to try to leave a little bit of that fur on so he doesn't look so leggy and shaved. Okay, so you can already see what's, what we're doing here. Just, you know, this is short, legs a little fuller, and we're doing all of this with the five blade. The great thing is for you at home groomers, if it's your dog, I mean, you don't have to worry about it. You can just practice. You know, pra it doesn't have to come out great because um, it's your dog anyway. Uh, so just keep practicing, keep doing it. You'll just get better and better at it. And before you know it, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be a groomer. You know, it's like anything else, guys. Okay guys, so after the clipper work, I feel comfortable enough now where I can uh, brush out the rest. He's not too bad here. Like I said, he was just kind of really bad up in here and behind his legs here and a little bit on his front legs and his neck area. Uh, but now that I feel comfortable that I could brush out the rest, I'm just gonna take that and this slicker brush and we're going to start brushing him out. 
and get the rest of them out. And then we're going to get them in the tub. What a good boy, Loki. What a good dog you are. What a sweetie. Again, guys, just did his back legs, his little torso. Work your way over to the front legs, his chest area. You know, you get the corner of the brush right in that armpit there. With the short haircut, you don't really have to worry about brushing too much because he just doesn't have a whole lot of hair left there. So your brushing is going to be minimal. And then, you know, he's all brushed out here and we're just going to focus on his face. You know, I'm just kind of holding him here like this. I'm brushing the right side of his face, you know, switch and then just grab here and brush uh, the other side of his face, just like that. And then over here, what you could do is you just grab him here and you can get right under the chin. Again, guys, Loki's really exceptional at it though. You know, he's got some nodding in the ears. So we're just gonna work on separating that a little bit with our fingers, just to get the, the brushes, the brush bristles through. What a good boy, Loki. What a good boy, Papa. Again, just going to separate some of the some of the nodding in his ear. See all that little stuff there. You know, this will quickly turn into some severe matting, um, and that's why it's important to see all that. That's a big mat here. But if you separate it a little bit with your fingers right like I'm doing and be, be real careful uh, don't grab skin when you're doing this now you can get the the bristles of that brush in between the knot and uh, it'll come out a lot easier a little more here just separate this it's okay buddy good boy Lokes good boy buddy you're such a good dog Loki I love you And you'll feel it once once the brush goes right through then you know you got all that nodding out you'll just feel it in your hand and it'll make less of that uh you know scratching sound good boy looks that's it you are ready you're ready for the tub buddy you're ready for the tub loki yeah <laughs> you good boy looks i love you buddy Loki's just a beautiful dog. He has beautiful eyes. He's so sweet. Such a good dog. Loki's owners, they have three dogs. They have uh, Dexter and Leo, and all three of their dogs are so sweet. They're just great dog owners. Good boy, Loki. You're a good boy. Look at you. Look at you. You're handsome. You're handsome. Okay guys, so Loki is ready for the tub now. We're gonna get him in there, give him a good bath, a good blow dry, and we are going to finish him up. In addition to going back over Loki with the 5F blade, we also scissored up his feet and his feathers. We scissored up his tail. We did some snap-on work on his head and face. And we scissored up his face for a really cute look in the end.
Okay guys, so that's going to do it for this video. As always, give it up for Loki for being such a good sport throughout the entire process. We hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.